All right, guys, here it says that consider the sample as follows. And it says to find the first median and the third quartile. The first quartile, the median, and the third quartile. Now, how do we find that? First thing, you need to sort the data. So you have two ones. So one, one. And you have two twos. Two and two. And then you have a three. Then three fours. and a six, and a seven, and two eights, one nine, two tens, one twelve, and one fourteen, and two fifteens. This is the sample. Now, how do we find the how do we find the first quartile remember the first quartile is the 25th percentile but in this case if you look at the first quartile and the fifth uh, which is the 25th percentile what you have to do is there is a formula that says what you're going to do is do the n plus 1 times the p. n is the number that you have. Here you have 19. So you have to be n plus 1 times p. And because you have 19 numbers here, so 19 plus 1 is 20. 20 times p. p is the first quartile, which is 25%. So times 0.25. Okay, so remember that it's n plus p, n is the number of your sample plus one, and then times the the percentile you're asking, and that will equal to five. Now this five actually means it is equal to x subscript five. And when you go to your sample, you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 5 is number 3. So your first quartile is equal to 3. Your median, which is the middle one, it should be net n plus 1 times p, which is equal to 20 times 0.5. And that will equal to 10, which actually means the x subscript 10. Now, this is 5, so that's 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, so 10 would be 7. So your median is 7. And the 75th percentile, which is the third quarter, would be n plus 1 again, times p, which is 20, times 0.75, equals to 15, and that means the x subscript 15 equals to 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 it will be 10. So this is how you calculate the percentile of a sample. Now, now you find, they said to find the 20th percentile and the 60th percentile. So it's the same thing again. n plus 1, p, so 20 times 0.2 and 20 times 0.6 so that would equal to point that would go to 4 which is x of 4 and that would and then you're gonna have that would equal to actually let me put it at this instead uh, to make it better so that would equal to 4 which is x sub 4, and that would equal to 12, which is, uh, which is actually, which is equal to x sub 12. So it's basically saying, what is the fourth number, and what is the, the twelfth number of the sample? So that would equal to 
1, 2, 3, 4 would equal to 2. And 10, 11, 12 would equal to 8. And that's it, guys. That's about it. That's what it is. Simple as that. And I hope you guys understand. And thank you for watching my videos. Bye.